Hello, dear friends and family, divine souls. Thank you for being here and tuning into this video today. I am Georgia Ashara, and I am someone who assists in opening up to our divine aliveness, opening up to the gifts within our womb, within our bodies, within our soul, bringing in our soul connection into this body so that we can live a more fulfilling life. And today I want to share with you a beautiful practice and a little bit about the why behind it as well. And it's all linked to, you know, our belief in ourselves and the the way that we move in the world and the, the judgment that we may allow to limit us and our expression, our true self-expression. And um, yeah, so let's dive in. So this is something that I have been dealing with myself you know this is something that has been a big 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 challenge of mine and that's really worrying about what other people think whether it's worrying about how i look worrying about what um people think what i'm saying and how i'm saying it or you know what i'm doing online and you know those people that i maybe used to know many years ago are now probably looking at my youtube channel and what would they think of me and what are they saying or they're sitting around laughing you know these little things used to really loop um around my head you know it really got to me and um i had some beautiful experiences with some plant ceremonies that really showed me the depth of which this this went for me you know this isn't just for me it, it is my ancestors this is something that is deep within my lineage this is deep within societal conditioning and i think it's getting ever more prevalent where we have social media that people are showing off uh, all the different things that they're doing around the world how they look um you know body image lots of plastic surgery things like this that that give people this false perception of what reality truly is because it's it's meant to be lived in your unique way right we're all here to express the divine in our each individual body this body that is a temple for the divine and sometimes we completely trash that and and forget and, and don't see how divine it is to have this human experience in this body and treat this body like an absolute divine temple and be so grateful for what we have because we're always looking from with outside of us and outside of us is sometimes always telling us that that what we have is diff is different or wrong or or not perfect in some way so we're then looking for that perfection and trying to seek that and create that and we're just on that hamster wheel of, of imperfection and self-doubt self-sabotage or you know um criticism and we want to let go of that criticism and yeah so as much as i've seen some some deep things and and how i can un untwine it, it it never really fully has unlocked until most recently the last couple of years where i have been working so deeply with my body and focusing so much with my body you know because i could do my beautiful light language achievements and rewire the energetics which should really technically come down into the body and really clear the body and clear the way but we need that mind we need that soul to fully connect into the body and know exactly what's going on in the body and feel it in the body because we're still if we're in a space of dissociation and not seeing us as a part of the body you know there's lots of teachings where you know where the soul and the body is just a meat suit it is just a vehicle for the soul and when we decide to leave the body the vehicle it, it goes and our and our soul goes off and does something else <laughs> but it is here for us right now and we should hold as much gratitude and appreciation for it so i think the key the ultimate key um to living a more fulfilling life, living without criticism and feeling uh, doubtful and judging ourselves and others is through coming into love and appreciation and reverence for the body, seeing it as something that, you know, is, is divine creation. It is part of divine creation. It is a divine temple for the soul. Um, so yeah, so that, <laughs> I hope that came in and has landed in that this is a divine body, a temple for the soul. 
So I'd love to hear how everyone else feels and senses about their body. What do you think? What do you feel? Now, this is going to be my tip um, and my practice to, to share with you all, to, to try and, and give, it a, give it a while and let me know how it goes. Um, but what I really like to do is tune into my body, get a feel, get a sense for it, consecrate an experience. So you can watch my Money is Love video if you want to see a proper breakdown of this. I actually like went through it step by step and you see me doing it. So I consecrate the space, you know, call in divine consciousness, divine energy to unify within my field, to hold my being while I, while I go into a ceremony and into a connection with my body in a sacred, sacred way, although all, all ways and moments are sacred, but truly just setting that intention. So you're clarifying that, calling in your guides to support and hold the space for you. And then it's to put some music on that's going to really feel empowering, but it's also going to feel quite edgy, like it's pushing through some barriers and some, you know, it's feeling like, you know, some movement It's helping you to feel that movement of like moving something that is stuck out of the body, right? Um, because this is probably something that's stuck in the body. This could be things that your parents have said to you, like, you know, judging you saying, Oh, but you know, why are you standing like that? Why are you making those sounds? You know, you should be you should be a little bit skinnier because you know you're only 20 what are you doing put gaining all that weight at that age most girls your age are um are much skinnier than you you know you just don't know what what people could be saying to us right so there could be some stories in the body that you're holding on to and you could also find you may be hearing a ice cream van outside um but yeah listening into the body and those little stories may come up. You don't need to start to go into the stories, start to think about the stories, but they just might be there and you may feel them, sense them as, as feeling. So you could start to feel some discomfort in a part of your body. Okay. There could be certain people in your life that have created that insecurity. It could even be that you're someone who wants to do YouTube, uh, or you want to start doing your business uh, online and you know putting something on YouTube is quite daunting or Instagram because you think well I don't want to be seen doing that thing or you know having to perform and show off in front of the camera this is this is definitely something that I have thought about I don't really mind sitting here and talking as much but like doing all of the doing yoga poses or dancing and things like that that's an edge I don't really want to feel like I'm having to do that. Like I'm, I'm here on my own. It, it's, it's kind of weird from this side of the lens, <laughs> but it's, it's about breaking past that. And because something in your soul actually wants to do it, you know, there's a part of your higher self that maybe is calling that because it knows that it's going to be in a higher state of service when it starts to do those things. So listening into, of, of course, if that's true for you, um, but yeah, it could even be that you are a dancer or you want to dance, but the idea of doing something up on stage in front of other people, you know, you could be doing anything that involves other people looking at you, watching you, observing what you're doing, could be an edge for you. Maybe it's not something you want to do, but it still is a block for you just being yourself in everyday life because of how people want to see how they might see and perceive you. So my invitation is when you've got that music and you've got some playlists on, you've got to get yourself a little playlist together of some, some nice music that really is pumping and, and moving that energy. Um, and then you're going to dance. And when you're dancing, you're going to invite those people in to the experience, whether it's just in your mind's eye, maybe you see them. <laughs> Can you hear that? I don't know if it's picking up on the microphone. Um, so what uh, <laughs> you're going to perceive them maybe sitting around you while you're dancing. So it could be your neighbor. It could be someone who was really rude to you when you was younger. It could be your parents. It could be siblings, friends. It could just be an audience of people you don't even know. But just start to put that in front of you while you're dancing and moving through that. 
you could even do it in real life, like real time, you could ask someone to sit and just watch you and observe you while you're doing this. All right, you could boldly go out into the streets um, or, or somewhere and go and do that. I had some spirit guidance a few years ago now where I was guided to these sacred sites and I had to keep doing all of the galactic work, cosmic work, and I was moving all this energy. It's like kind of like I'm doing Qigong or something, but it's very intuitive and it's, um, you know, I'm also making the light language sounds. And I, this was an edge for me. I was like, this is humiliating, like to to do this in front of people but i had to sometimes there was the parts i was being asked to to clear certain waterways and certain sacred sites that needed um, that energy attention and simultaneously there was like this initiation that was going on um within my highest guidance and my soul team to say you know you need to be doing these things in front of other people you need to get rid of this shame and this um, illusion of, you know, that you are not good enough to do this or that people will think that you are silly or crazy or weird for what you're doing. You need to just go and do it because this is important and this is powerful and how much power um, is in your offering to offer this shame, offer this vulnerability and this judgment and criticism to this clearing to say I am willing to move past this for this clearing for this connection to the divine to help to reactivate the divine codes within humanity and within these collective um, portals or you know meridians you know that's something that I haven't shared a great deal of, but that's the kind of things I've, I've had to do you know over the last you know I don't know five years maybe um, it's been very prominent um, so if that's something that you feel that you have to do, there's an initiation there in some way, the best thing to do is to lean into that and see beyond, beyond the ick, the beyond the discomfort, there is the liberation. And you'll start to feel this liberation. You'll start to dance and move even more, even further into your soul because you realize that beyond that is it, that it's nothing that, that that criticism was just an illusion and it starts to move out the body and then more of your soul can come into your body and into your being and to finish that you may just want to nurture yourself with some massage or just go grounding sitting under a tree putting your feet um, on the soil just to to really re-anchor yourself if that felt like so liberating it got you a little bit high you know um, maybe you just want to put some other music on more slow and, and kind of slow yourself down, whatever it is. Um, just find a way to, to ease yourself back into your stillness so you can be present with what came up and the feelings and sensations. And then you may feel that you want to journal after that as well. So I hope that you've enjoyed this idea of practicing and liberating yourself from criticism and judgment through the somatic liberation um, and from there you can actually start to experience more of your soul and I believe I truly believe that this is where um, we do start to express more unique ways of, of human expression of soul expression you know which could be very multi-dimensional like speaking the light codes and light language moving our bodies with codes and bringing codes through our body because we start to move some of those things out of the way through our system that allows more of that to come in we start to be walking embodiments of our soul we start to be walking embodiments of these healing frequencies from the cosmos from the universe from pure source creation so that we can help that to to anchor into the grid and it can also illuminate out into society other people that you meet and you walk upon uh, walk around and, and meet you will see that they'll go huh this person is holding something some kind of energy i have not felt but i want to feel it i want to understand it and you almost open up the gateway for them to receive those codes just through your living embodiment it's very powerful so yeah hope you've enjoyed this love to hear how it went and and what you experienced and um, if you want to stay in touch and get to know what other offerings that I have, 
then all the links are in the down bar in the comments so you can see um, that there are some free workshops and Facebook groups and all different things like that that, that offer um, spaces for us to do more of this work together. So sending you all so much love and I'll see you soon.